In this example, we're going to look at some inequalities where we'll have to do a couple steps to solve them. Typically what's going to happen, we'll have to do some combination of addition and subtraction, and then multiplication or division to get our solution. Part A here, we've got 4x minus 6 greater than 1. I'm going to try to isolate the term involving x on the left side. So to do that, I'm going to add 6 to both sides, since I'm subtracting 6. That'll leave us with 4x greater than 1 plus 6 will be 7. And now all we have to do, since we're multiplying by 4, we'll divide both sides by 4, leaving our inequality to face in the same direction. And it says our solution will be x is greater than 7 over 4. So let's go ahead and jump on to part B. Here we have negative x over 3 plus 8 greater than or equal to 14. The, th the first thing I'm going to do, again, I'm going to try to isolate the term involving x. I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. That'll leave us with negative x over 3 greater than or equal to 6. Now what I'm going to do, to get rid of the, uh, the negative and the 3 that's on the de in the denominator, well, I could certainly multiply both sides by negative 1 to get rid of the negative. And since I'm dividing by 3, I'm going to also multiply by 3. So I'm going to multiply both numbers. Let me write this a little bit better, too, because since I'm multiplying, uh, the inequality should technically flip. So uh, what's the best way to write that? I guess the best way to write it would be let's flip the inequality since we're actually multiplying by a negative number. That would be a more correct way of writing it. Again, we know that if we multiply or divide, we end up uh, having to flip the inequality, so I'm indicating that. A negative and a negative is a positive. 3 over 3 would be 1, so we're left with 1x on the left side. would be less than or equal to 6 times negative 3, which would be negative 18. So our solution would be x is less than or equal to negative 18. Might as well finish them off here. We have x plus 6 divided by 11 less than 2. Well, the first thing I'm going to do in this case, since we're dividing both, or since we're dividing the left side by 11, I'm going to multiply both sides by 11. So on the left side, the 11s would cancel. We would be left with x plus 6, and that's going to be less than 2 times 11, which is 22. And now all we have to do is subtract 6 from both sides. And we'll be left with x is less than 16 as our solution.